Okay, um, now I decided to make more tread on my screw. Some people ask me how I do it. So, um, I didn't have enough. It was stopping here, and sometimes with big lugs, it just the screw stops screwing and it it won't uh it won't go to the to the end so i decided to add more threads so the same the same thing i did with uh, this part now i'm using the uh, grinder and i already went one time and when you hold the grinder and you always keep the same distance between the uh, the the groove that was you did before, you end up doing treads as you go. You you uh, you will reach the end. You know, I always keep like a one eighth of an inch or a quarter almost of an inch. So now I did the first uh, pass and then uh, a second one to for to regulate the deep deepness of the groove and then I will uh, do it more times uh, and I will give a, a, like an angle to the grinder to uh, to have the angle that I want and to have to finish with a uh, a tread, you know, like this, uh, instead of being uh, square. You no. Know? So um, I'll go and. Uh, I just uh, cut more with the grinder instead of just uh, grinding I already cut uh, at the angle that I want uh, to reach 
uh, to reach the groove, the straight groove that I did before. So when I go at the, with the angle, I reach the bottom of the straight groove. And that's what makes uh, the one, up, one edge a straight and the other one with an angle and then straight again and an angle to be able to pull on the lug Added groove, I had the thread here. So don't forget to do the thread in the clockwise or counterclockwise uh, direction. Um, I do clockwise like a regular screw because I have I have some uh, gears here that double the speed but also reverse the PTO um, uh, way of rotation uh, PTO is, is going uh, counterclockwise but the gear goes clockwise so that's why I have a clockwise thread but if you're straight on the PTO uh, or you use a um, V-belt uh, instead of um, a gear, then you have to go uh, counterclockwise for your thread. <laughs> 